Hello, beloved. I hope everybody is doing well in that last video you watched of our sister in Christ. I got to close my sunroof here. I love looking up the sky today. It's super blue and little white fluffy clouds everywhere. Praise the Lord. It's not chemical trails today. <laughs> I just feel so giddy because of the just the glorious beauty that God brings. Sometimes he is a, he is actually all the time he brings those things but he is powerful today and oh my gosh I got to testify of Jesus Christ at the DMV everybody's outside and so you could speak and I spoke of the Lord to everyone and read Romans 1 out loud and what a blessing several brothers and sisters came up to me and said they were Christian and other people you could see them praying you know they bowed their heads and started praying uh, one person I was able to tell them about the red string that it was demonic and to please you know repent for that sorcery and because she says it gets rid of the evil eye the red string that it's for for protection and I said well the Lord protects us I said that's actually a demonic thing to do that red string and you should probably get rid of it <laughs> trust in Jesus to get rid of the evil eye <laughs> whatever that is anyways I praise the Lord our God in heaven for that testimony to all those people at DMV and I pray that you pray for everyone that heard the word of the Lord that spoke freely through me um, today at the DMV uh, because you know I had forgotten to do something to get my sticker for this year I had done the smog but I, apparently I had to take my paperwork in but praise the Lord I was able to testify and speak freely to people and it, the, it was like there was no oppressing spirits to keep the word from co coming to their ears and that is a beautiful thing when God prepares the way for you sometimes it looks like oh gosh I got to go do this or oh my gosh I'm, I got to do this rejoice because sometimes it's because you've got a testimony to bring God will allow things in your life so that you can bring a testimony to, to many or you can confirm a word with a brother or sister or you can uh, fellowship with someone who, who is a believer and uh, what happened was so awesome I've had that happen whenever um, my washing machine broke and the, I had to go to the laundromat and then it was fixed immediately right after I got done so that was clearly a God assignment a God um, encounter with someone else who needed help actually this one was very important uh, that that meeting was because someone was being oppressed of the devil um, really bad uh, demonic stronghold and praise the Lord I was able to go and scare those demons away from that poor young lady and uh, praise the Lord I believe she's becoming healed praise the Lord um, and so many are being set free from captivity and I pray that that this blesses you and you just feel the, the um, urge by the Spirit to, to preach the good news of Jesus. And one thing in Romans that I really uh, was focused in on by the Spirit was that the first chapter of Roman, um, the first verse, uh, first few verses, it says that the, the gospel of God is that his son is about his son, Jesus Christ. And that is God's gospel <laughs> that he talks about. And that comes from Paul. So Paul got the power of the Most High to speak, inspire him to write that those words. And so I encourage everyone, uh, Israel and non-Israel, Gentiles alike, if you're in the body of Christ, there's neither Jew nor Gentile. We're all one in Christ. Uh, read Romans 1 and recognize that the gospel of God is spoken of in that first chapter. And that was given by... Uh, the Apostle Paul who we love our brethren so I hope this blesses you and encourages you to go out today and enjoy speaking the truth and don't be ashamed of the name of Jesus don't be ashamed of the gospel of Christ don't be ashamed of the gospel of God and know that God is good and that he's gonna his mercy endures forever as it says in the Psalms and he he does bring judgment there is a judgment and sometimes people don't like that judgment but we have to know that God's way is higher than our ways so give him praise and glory for judgment too because in the uh, uh, old testament which is the tanakh you see um many of the people of god requested judgment because it was righteous because it got them on the right path so which is the lord's word praise the lord's word today and praise him and give him glory god be loved to you